The Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency is trying to put its stamp on the newest space race craze and also beat out its biggest competitor, China, by helping support the efforts of private space companies there. The only bummer is the first big launch did not measure up. Startup space company Momo sent the country's first commercial rocket up on Sunday. Unfortunately, that's as good as it got. The spaceship, which was built by Interstellar Technologies, had a target altitude of 100 kilometers. With just over a minute into its launch, the Momo team lost communication with old interagency one here. Interstellar says the emergency stop was then used to terminate the flight. Overall then, there was altitude gain of only about 20 kilometers. The rocket is thought to have fallen into the ocean eight kilometers away. It cost 50 million yen to launch this baby, a big savings from the usual JAXA costs of 200 to 300 million yen. That's about $500,000 compared to 2 million US. The space race for private companies has been well documented in the US. For that, I'm talking Elon Musk's own SpaceX and the curiously shaped rockets at Blue Origin. Seriously, somebody should have put the brakes on that. Momo's launch is still being heralded a partial success by the company, which says any amount of launch data is useful. And from watching US entrepreneurs and the many crashes and aborts they have had, failed launches have certainly been a part of the process, like this cargo ship fail. Japan's space agency has already announced its plans to put a man on the moon a few years before China's space agency intends to. So think of this failure as less of a meh rocket launch from one company and more as the instant argument between in-laws that continues years after anyone in the family cares about Uncle Mark's interstellar posing. Except this one has extreme amounts of money and future land on the line. For more Engadget Today, come back tomorrow.